another Lakers double recap as we look at their last two games. And unfortunately for the Lakers, their losing streak continues. They lost to the Chicago Bulls the other day, 108 to 124. Scores at halftime were 55 to 61. The Lakers were down by those six points. It was great to see Gabe Vincent back in action after missing, uh, you know, quite a long time um, of basketball. He was on the sidelines due to his injuries and uh, ongoing setbacks, but it's good to see him back. Alex Caruso, against his former side, had some big-time moments, not only defensively, but offensively as well. Just really kept his team in it, uh, gave his team that spark. He finished up with six rebounds, two assists, 15 points. DeMar DeRozan had a great game, seven rebounds, nine assists, 27 points. And I thought Kobe White chipped in, uh, chipped in very nicely for the Bulls. Seven rebounds, five assists, and 17 points from Kobe White. Some really nice shots from him. We look at this game and there were some big time moments um, for the Bulls from the three-point arc. At times they just fired away and it was very tough to stop them. They did have the upper hand throughout this game. Now I thought the Lakers could have been a bit better defensively. I thought there was a lack of intensity at times uh, in transition. And I just thought, um, you know, I wanted to really see them elevate their game and match the Bulls at times. Because once the Bulls got out in that last quarter, the Lakers didn't really fight back and didn't really have the chance to. So I would have liked to see them a bit more switched on and a bit more in the Bulls' faces. LeBron James, 10 rebounds, 9 assists, 25 points. Very close to getting a triple-double. AD had 14 rebounds, 3 assists, 19 points. Austin Reeves, 3 assists, 21 points. And I wanted to give a shout out to Torian Prince in that game. Four rebounds, four assists, 16 points. And I wanted to really talk about Torian Prince. Because at the start of the season, you know, he started off really well. Then he had a few off games. And everyone thought, where does he really fit in? But what I said on my recaps was, he's had the chances from the three-point arc. He just needs that confidence to back himself. You know, and not hesitate. And take it upon himself to really take those opportunities and nail them. And that's what he's been doing in these last couple of weeks because we've seen Torian Prince back himself. We've seen Torian Prince on a consistent basis have 10 points or more at times. That's a nice little contribution by him. So well done to Torian Prince. And then to see him against his former side in the Minnesota Timberwolves, the Lakers lost 111 to 118. But Torian Prince had some nice moments. He had five rebounds, one assist, 14 points. He was four out of four from downtown against the former side. Well done, Torian Prince, again. I wanted to quickly mention the Lakers. D'Angelo Russell, four rebounds, eight assists, 17 points. A great game by D'Lo. Rui had five rebounds, 18 points. Reeves had seven rebounds, five assists, and 20 points. And the star of the game, the leader of the pack, in the absence of LeBron James due to ankle tendonitis, was Anthony Davis. Eight rebounds, four assists, 31 points. 18 in the first half. He had a couple blocks as well. Two big-time threes by D'Angelo Russell late in the fourth quarter. The Lakers cut a 13-point lead down to seven points. They were a chance. They stayed in the contest throughout this game. And although it's another loss, although it is frustrating to see this team have this losing streak after winning the in-season tournament, although it is frustrating at times to see this team's effort and intensity drop off on the defensive end and then, you know, it's great that they're doing the offensive load well, but get back on defense. Be a bit more switched on. Be cleaner with the ball. The Lakers had 17 turnovers in this game. But besides that, I'm impressed that we made it a contest. I'm impressed that for most of the four quarters, we kept up with the Timberwolves. So good effort, Lakers, especially considering that they were without LeBron James. And with the absence of the King, we actually went well offensively and in transition. And it was players like D'Lo and Reeves and AD chipping in and Torian Prince firing away at times. We, uh, I quickly wanted to mention the Minnesota Timberwolves because, um, you know, they just put up a great effort. They're having a great season so far. Anthony Edwards, 7 rebounds, 5 assists, 27 points, 14 in the first half. Carl Anthony Towns, 6 rebounds, 4 assists, 21 points, 12 in the first half. And Mike Conley was 4 out of 6 from downtown, finishing with 1 rebound, 8 assists, 16 points. The 3-point shooting in this game, 10 out of 23 for the um, Lakers, shooting 43.5% from downtown, 
14 out of 36 for the Timberwolves, on the other hand, shooting 38.9%. Lakers, good effort to keep up with the Timberwolves. Just those turnovers had to be a bit cleaner with the ball in hand. Just had to keep calm, composed at times, but unfortunately, it got away from us. So, let's hope this losing streak can finally end when we go to our next game, and I'll get to that in a minute. But first thing, before we wrap this recap up, I wanted to mention something which has got on my nerves a bit in these last few games. I wanted to talk about Christian Wood, because in the last three games, one of them he didn't play with, coach's, uh, coach's decision from Darvin Ham, and the other two, he's only played four minutes all up. One minute against the Chicago Bulls, three minutes against the Timberwolves. He's a physical player, gets back on defense, works well with, uh, you know, a player like Anthony Davis, and he can also drop back on the three-point arc and hit threes. So, Darvin Ham, my question to you is, why aren't you playing him? Why isn't he getting minutes? Because he looks pretty fit to me. He looks pretty healthy to me in these last couple games. So I don't think it's minutes restrictions. I think it's, uh, you know, just a, a rotation that Darvin Ham is trying and excluding and ignoring Christian Wood. I want to see him get game time. And especially with the absence of LeBron James today, we needed another big probably to back up a monstrous performance by AD and Christian Wood would have been your guy. But instead, you only gave him two minutes. I expect Darvin Ham to give Christian Wood a lot more game time because I think he deserves it and he's got a lot to deliver. In the Lakers' loss against the Spurs, Christian Wood had a good game despite the result. That's something to look at. That's something to think about going forward. Lakers next game against the Thunder tomorrow. Let's hope for a win. Go Lakers. Did you like that recap? Well, if you want to see more, make sure to like, comment on this post and share it out to your friends and family. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Want to see more content? Well, you can. Make sure to head to my Facebook page and also my Instagram page. Got more content on there and plenty more sports updates.